Well, might as well um, start with this one because aside from the fact that I have a strong attachment with this series, uh, I figured that since Capcom isn't doing anything with it right, right now, that I not only give this another swing as usual, but um, just pay my respects because the only thing that I'm seeing from Capcom nowadays is what Resident Evil and this Dragon's Dogma that I keep hearing about. And I've seen it in action and heard none of the bad things about it, but aside from that, this, which came out back in 93 and 30 years later you know Capcom just didn't do anything with it I mean I don't know if the Legacy Collection got a um, got any type of price drop honestly I don't really care because I really don't like the Legacy Collection that much anyways so this right here is the original game but I also threw in some patches to boot so I have the SA1 patch which reduces the slowdown and then there's another one which tries to revive the Japanese script in translation so this should make the game experience um, a little bit more better but it is really a shame what they do here like I would think that they would do some generic stuff with it like merchandising or just price drops for hot access to games in the modern era and yeah it's it's so disheartening so no I figured alright then you know what better way to get my fix than to just revisit the uh the OG you know original right here so Yep, gotta love that tune. Yep, so... Oh my god. You know, I, I can't even remember the last time that I saw a game where it uses the character as like a... a as a select option cursor. Usually it's like a finger or you just highlight it. This one goes above and beyond and just both. The highlight and the character. So... Really brings out the arcade aesthetic of this menu here. But it's yeah. Like I get that is not really the most I don't think it's the most profitable, but like they could have just at the very least acknowledged that oh yeah, that series. I mean not even like you don't have any plans for it, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it in consideration on different than all the generic. You know, when you submit an application and it says, "Oh yeah, we'll keep we'll, we'll keep it on record." Just you know, we're we're not gonna bring it back, but you know, we'll let you know when. Just gotta figure out what to do with it first. I mean. There was that whole thing where Keiji and Fune said, you know, just rub it with Mario Hunter X, and then there was the, uh, I think that to be better. Um, there was one that had, if anyone recalls, the collection for the PS2 and GameCube, uh, you would know that um, there were a whole set of planned remakes in the series. And some of them actually got some uh, rescripts. I think it was um, one of the entries that had one. And it just, it just never came to be, so... Yeah, I believe out of all the entries in the series, that is this one that doesn't really get that much attention, appreciation. Honestly, not really much of anything. Oh, this one too. Alright. And before we continue even further. Yep. Yep, that's what you wanted. 
You know, we're gonna see how far you can go with this. Oh, wait, hold on. Alright, this one then. <laughs> nope, just ride it. All the way to the destination. Oh, there's the destination right now, actually. So, yeah. They were, it was just, I think back in the day, a side project because they're working on other games. Oh, so there's something I like to do here. How long can X survive this? Okay, there, all right, there you go. Ooh. Actually, that's a challenge. How long can you survive that? Fool! And yet, Jill's trying to shove was enough to blow up that whole arm. Oh yeah, I remember that line being in the collection. Word. And back then, I always get a piece of paper and just write it down because imagine trying to memorize this whole thing. I just wrote it down one time and someone thought it was a phone number. Yep, yeah, and here's the crew. Here we are. So, the way that I'm gonna be doing this is I'm going to treat every single one as if it is your first choice because out of all of these there's always still a penguin that people choose uh, first and rightfully so because that's where the upgrade for the legs are but um, I'm going to be treating this as a like a what if scenario of what happens if you choose either of these as your first go to so even though it shows up the stage right now if you go to specs here, you can actually see what their names are and the height and weight and what it is that they do, which can give you a clear um, idea of what to get into for the most part. So I don't know if people were just superficial about it back then or maybe they looked at this or maybe read the booklet, who knows. But um can give you some hit hidden nudges, nudges on how to go about this game. And then here's the map. And I actually kinda like how it was designed too, because you can see, you know, the mountain in the background, there's the horse, you know, the tower and, and Engine mines on the edge there. So it's. Yeah, it's a good looking map, but anyways. So I'll be going down with these one by one. The rest is up to you. Where do you want to go? <laughs> 